Happy Father's Day. A special salute to all the dads out there, and of course to all the mothers who serve as father figures for their families. It seems as though we've been honoring our fathers since the beginning of time. However, an actual holiday celebrating their work did not become official until 1966, when President Lyndon Johnson declared that the third Sunday in June would be Father's Day. The American Diabetes Association takes this day very seriously, and every year it honors four fathers for their hard work and dedication. Now, to tell us more about this program and what it means to be a good father, we've invited Greg Gallias. He is one of this year's four fathers of the year, and Fred Kramer also is with us this morning, a past honoree, and he's a current member of the Father's Day Council. Welcome to Urban Update, gentlemen. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Uh, Great to be here. And uh, Greg, uh, let me start with you. Uh, happy Father's Day, and congratulations on the big honor, one of the four fathers in the state to be honored uh, uh, by the American Diabetes Association. Um, first of all, how do you feel about getting this honor? Uh, Byron, it's a great honor to, uh, you know, to, to be included in such a great group of uh, dads, not only the three that uh, I was honored with uh, this year, but also honorees uh, who have been recognized in the past, including Fred, uh, an incredibly uh, accomplished group of uh, leaders in our community. Now, uh, Fred, talk to me about uh, how the Father's Day Council selects these honorees. You're a past honoree. Um, Greg here is uh, one of this year's four fathers being honored by the American Diabetes Association. Sure, Byron, thank you. Um, the Father's Day Council is made up of past honorees and goes back a number of years. I was honored several years ago. And uh, in essence, it's a group of networking professionals, and we we go out and source the community for uh, people who we think are great professionals, tremendous dads, uh, and would make an impact on behalf of the American Diabetes Association. We did that this year and came up with Greg and three others. Now, um uh, Greg, uh, you know, you've taken this opportunity to help the American Diabetes Association uh, by inviting your colleagues and your friends and a number of companies to raise uh, money for the organization. Tell, talk to me about, uh, I guess, your interest in doing that. Well, you know, it, again, it was a great privilege to, to get to, to know the folks at the, uh, the ADA. And, and uh, you know, I'm fortunate. I've been working in Boston for 33 years, so I know a lot of folks in the community and, and uh, work with a lot of companies uh, in the financial services industry. And I was able to... Uh, to um, tap into that group to uh, to support the event and and you know myself as well as the uh, the ADA they were more than happy to uh, to support such a great organization. Fred, uh, I guess this is a this event honors fathers, but it's also a fundraiser for uh, I guess the American Di Diabetes Association. Can you talk to me about uh, where the money goes sure. and how how sure. that works? I'd be happy to. Um, it's a wonderful event because it happens across the country the same night. Boston is one of the many cities that does this. And in fact, all of the money goes to support research with respect to type 1 and type 2 diabetes in two ways, management and maintenance. Long-term consequences of diabetes are devastating, so management and maintenance is, is extremely important. Um, and then it also goes to uh, find a cure. So my daughter was diagnosed with diabetes uh, when she was 6. She's 28, just got married. Type 1, correct. And uh, it, she's doing extremely well, but when she was diagnosed 20 some odd years ago, we were, we were hoping there would be a cure right around the corner. And uh, there isn't yet. So we, we fight for the cure and we fight uh, for management and maintenance tools. And a lot of the money raised across the country comes right back here to Jocelyn Children's Mass General Hospital, some of the, as we all know, we're blessed with some of the best healthcare institutions in the country right here in Boston. Okay. Now, um, uh, Greg, uh, getting back to this whole Father's Day uh, uh, honor here, you know, you're a partner at a, at a big firm uh, here in the Boston area, and you've had a very demanding career, and I know you've coached a lot of uh, youth sports teams and so forth, I guess. How have you balanced all of your commitments? Well, Byron, I think the, you know it's it's about balance, and and I learned from my dad early on that uh, you need to to really be able to balance both work and your career, as well as your family time. You don't get that time back if if you're uh, if you're not able to spend it with your kids, or you let work get in the way of of some of your. Uh, uh, opportunities at home so I've really strived to to maintain that balance both professionally and, and at home and vowed never to miss a significant event in my children's life and, and public accounting uh, at PwC has afforded me the opportunity to be able to, to achieve that balance. Now um, uh, Fred the, the whole idea I guess why um, the American, American Diabetes Association and Father's Day how do the two of those 
come together. I mean, as opposed to you know any other holiday. I guess. Yeah, it, um, it, it, it raising money and sourcing cures and management things for American Diabetes Association is a, a very challenging effort. There are so many causes in our country that are important and there's not enough time and there's not enough money. So this is one of the most uh, unique fundraising events that I've ever experienced in my life. So honoring fathers and honoring families whether they have a connection to diabetes or whether they don't, we have a number of fathers who don't, um, was a, a pretty unique way to express that care and concern. Um, and the tying it to Father's Day is just another way of, uh, of making it the culmination of a significant fundraising event for diabetes. What about uh, anyone who wants to get involved or wants to contribute, uh, mm -hmm. or just, just to do something uh, sure. on sure. behalf of, uh, of curing this, uh, the, sure. this terrible disease? Well, Byron, there's a lot of ways to get involved. We have um, occasional walkathons for diabetes uh, here and in other cities in the state. There's a tour to cure, which is a bike ride, a bikeathon for diabetes. And there's still time to donate to Greg and the other three fathers uh, at this particular time by going on diabetes.org and looking for the Father's Day of the Year award and making a donation to those fathers. Okay, well, it sounds like a great way uh, to celebrate uh, celebrate what I think is one of the great holidays of being a dad myself. Fred Kramer and Greg uh, uh, Galeas, thanks for coming in, and congratulations uh, for the big honor today. And, Thank uh, you. It's hope a you guys to be here. I hope you guys raise a lot of money for uh, the fight against diabetes. Yeah.